So today for you all, I'm going to be showing you my new current nighttime skincare routine, so let's go ahead and jump into everything. So my first step in my new current skincare routine is to go ahead and remove all of my makeup. So taking my Up and Up Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes, I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of my makeup, including my eye makeup. And it's really important to do this before moving on to any other steps in your skincare routine. So step number two is to go ahead and just remove all of your hair out of your face. Since I have short hair, I only require a headband, but if you had longer hair, I would say to go ahead and pull it up in a ponytail and put in a headband. So then my third step is to cleanse my face. So first I go ahead and wash my hands, and I like to turn the water to warm, and then I like to go ahead and splash that on my face just to open up my pores and get them ready for cleansing. Then taking my Clinique Liquid Facial Soap in Mild, I go ahead and take one pump of this, and then I just go ahead and cleanse my face with it. This cleanser is amazing at really cleansing your skin but not letting it strip any oils and not over drying it. It just keeps it really nice and cleansed and then I go ahead and rinse it off with some warm water and then I like to go ahead and pat it dry with a towel and now my skin is ready for the next step in my skincare routine which is toning. So step four is my favorite part of my skincare routine, which is toning. So taking my Clinique Clarifying Lotion in level two, which is for dry combination skin, I go ahead and take a little bit of this on a cotton ball and just gently rub it into my skin. I really love this toner. It really makes my face tingle and I can really feel it lifting up any of the dead skin cells and just really helping clear my skin. So I just go ahead and rub this all over my face and I always love seeing the extra dirt that comes off. So now my face is smooth and ready for my next step in my skincare routine. So now that my skin is nice and toned, we are going to move on to step 5, which is moisturizing. So taking my Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream, which is a nice heavy cream, I take about that much on my fingers and just gently blend this into my skin and apply it to my neck as well. And this moisturizing cream is amazing at really restoring the moisture in your skin and keeping my skin really soft and supple, and it's great for using overnight. So now I wait about 5 minutes before moving on to my next skincare step. So now I move on to step six, which is spot treating. So now that my skin has accepted all of the moisturizer and it's really soaked in, I take my Clean and Clear Persigel 10, which is a 10% benzoyl peroxide medication, and I go ahead and apply this all over my skin where I think I'm going to break out or where I usually get breakouts. And this is just doing an amazing job at really keeping my skin clear. I haven't gotten any breakouts in a really long time. I just have some leftover bumps and scarring. So this is doing a great job at clearing up my skin, and then I just like to go ahead and spot treat with it as well. So now I'm ready to move on to the last step of my skincare routine. So now in step 7, we can't forget about those little lips. So taking my Smith's Rosebud Salve, which is a really great lip treatment and moisturizer, I just go ahead and apply that to my lips. And this is great if you have chapped lips. It really keeps your lips really smooth and soft, and you can still feel the chapstick in the morning. So now we are finished with my nighttime skincare routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing me go from made up to my nighttime skincare routine. The skincare routine has been amazing at keeping my skin really clear and just keeping it really healthy and in nice condition. I would love to see your guys' skincare routine, so definitely film a video response or let me know what you use in the comments below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye guys!